history. Brought to you by Forest Hill Cemetery. Well, of course, getting across the river was an important thing. And they had a ferry hung from the end of the island. And it was a swing ferry had these pontoons holding up the line, and it would come in along the shore here, take on passengers and goods, and use oars to swing across. Well, it was that way up until the late 1890s when Hamilton County built the County Bridge, and this is it. It linked Chattanooga with Hill City, which was its own town at the time, and um, it created an, uh, an opportunity for vehicles, although in 92 we didn't have cars, so there were horses and buggies, and there was a trolley line that came across the side. I think it's really elegant, and it's one of the first bridges across the Tennessee River. That was not a, a railroad bridge, and so it made a big impact on the commerce of the city. This is called a um, camelback through truss bridge. So you're actually moving through the center of the truss and it has sort of a camel back as you can tell. And uh, there are not many of them left. We were able to save this one by coming up with a, a novel engineering uh, tweak, which is cables from the top cord underneath, basically picking the bridge up by its own bootstraps. And that saved us enough money to be able to come up with uh, what we needed to restore it. Well, the stone work is beautifully done, and we had to check to make sure it was in good shape. Some places we had to do some repointing, sent divers down to the bottom of the river to see what it looked like. But one of the unique things about it is it was um, quarried locally, just over at the Chattanooga Gotham Country Club, no more than a couple of miles from here. Uh, so it was local stone, and they had great masons, and. Uh, those are, you know, the other half of the beauty of the bridge is just the piers. We have uh, a series of plaques that uh, we designed. There are two at each of the pier plazas we made, and there's a lot of the history of the bridge, river traffic, city of Chattanooga, on these historic plaques. There's no doubt that the history and the beauty of the Walnut Street Bridge runs deep here in Chattanooga, but can you believe in the late 70s and early 80s they wanted to destroy the bridge? Well, there was an opportunity to replace it and get another bridge, and so the Federal Bridge Replacement Act was going to sacrifice this one for that one. And a group of local people, um, well, it was closed in 78. Back then, Landmarks, the preservation group that's now Cornerstones, made an effort to bring it to people's attention. Well, going back with the original materials, we, we're very fond of this wood deck. It's got a great texture. It's got a good feel to it. The, the most important thing is these cables here. That's the, the re-support that uh, allowed us to save over $4 million and made the project doable. I felt it was very important, being an urban designer, uh, making this connection and making it in such a way that uh, helps make Chattanooga a walkable, bikeable city. And that's what we're into. We want to make it uh, accessible to baby carriages and unicycles and bicycles. This is a route that is protected. It's safe. People use it as a park. They come out here and eat their lunch. They play their guitar. Uh, and there, there are no threats to uh, you know children running around. So it's a, it's a great big elevated park right in the middle of the city. And we are so thankful for the fact that those folks helped save that bridge. Can you imagine Chattanooga without it? Of course, Walnut Street Bridge in downtown Chattanooga. Next couple days will be perfect to walk along.